Hey everybody, welcome to Random Fix. So I'm here in the van. The van is complete. It's been a complete blast. And me and the family got a chance to go travel through 24 states last year. And everything worked exactly as designed. No issues except for the inverter that came with the vehicle from Mercedes-Benz. Because Mercedes-Benz paid some outfitter to put a Xantrex 2000 watt sine wave inverter in the vehicle. This unit has caused me some grief. So in this video today, I'm gonna to be discussing the four defects that I noticed about the unit. And so maybe this will help you guys out as far as troubleshooting. And at the end of the video, I'll let you guys know if there was anything I could have done to remedy a better outcome as far as the Xantrex 2000 watt inverter. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. <laughs> Hey guys welcome back to the channel so in this video today we're going to be talking about the four defects of the Xantex SW2000 so if you have this unit and it's driving you crazy I'm going to cover with you guys what I'm experiencing and maybe you can go ahead and relate and so my vehicle came with this inverter from Mercedes-Benz and it was located in the same exact spot I just went ahead and put a automatic transfer switch in and I've done everything I could to go ahead and remedy the issue I ran better grounds better cables and no matter what I do this unit has some inherent defects so I'm going to cover in this video today with you guys those four defects so the number one defect on this unit is when you're running this inverter here it's got this really loud high-pitched fan and it will go ahead and just squeal for no reason and it gets to be very annoying especially if you're sleeping number two and one of the most annoying features of this inverter since it's supposed to be rated at 2000 watts is it cannot handle any kind of surge so whenever you turn on a device for the very first time it'll oftentimes have a, a surge of 50 percent or 200 percent and this unit cannot handle it and so whenever i'm trying to turn on my convection oven this unit goes and resets and the same exact thing for the water heater even though they're rated under 2000 watts this will go ahead and reset about 95 percent of the times and the other five percent of the times it works so i have no idea what that's all about but i'm really tired of five percent results defect number three this unit resets for no reason so if you're experiencing a similar issue where you're running the inverter here and all of a sudden it'll go ahead and just turn off and turn on that's one of the issues of this unit and i have not found a walk around if you guys have any tips that can help me out please don't hesitate to comment down below again i've already tried running better cables did all that and i have over 1150 amp hours of batteries so it's definitely not my batteries and i even just did a bench test of a similar 2000 watt inverter and it worked with no issues so the other inverter i'll have a link to down below was really about one third of the cost too and so it handled it if you're enjoying this video here about the Xantrex 2000 watt sine wave inverter consider giving the video a thumbs up as it really lets youtube know that i'm bringing you guys valuable content and it would mean the world to me and also if you guys want to check out the whole sprinter van build you'll find links to everything in the video description down below and as well as at the end of the video thanks and the fourth known defect on this unit is going to be this is not a 2000 watt inverter i think somebody from xantex wanted to go ahead and hype this up so this might be about a 1500 watt inverter as whenever i'm using my induction oven the most i can go ahead and turn it up to is setting six which is about 1100 watts before the unit will go ahead and reset so as much as i wanted to like this unit it came with a van i built all the remotes in ran the remote down there as well and didn't really want to do this job again but today i'm having to rip this unit out so i wanted to make sure you guys knew about this so if you guys are experiencing a similar issue please comment down below i hope you guys find some sort of value in this video as this unit has really driven me crazy all right everybody well there you guys go you guys now know about the four defects that i observed and one thing that I did want to mention is nothing in my installation was bad. 
So I did not need to go ahead and run new grounds, thicker grounds. None of that would have actually helped. I had plenty of battery power. This unit is grossly overstated as far as the capacity and it cannot handle any kind of surge. So if you have a system that needs only about a thousand to 1200 Watts, this unit will go ahead and do. If you need anything more than that, I would definitely recommend that you check out some of the other videos that I have about inverters as I actually finally found a unit that works and I have had no issues and it is sine wave and it still fit underneath the seat, which was amazing because as you guys know, when you are playing around with 12 volt versus 24 volt, it is really hard to find a unit that can go and deliver more than 2000 watts. And I found one in the same price range. So check that out and I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you so much.